Thanks, Shuli. And the Indian Army, it seems, is yet to become net savvy, going by the state of its official website. The Indian Army website on eve of the Army Day on Tuesday. The only thing right about it is the name of the current Chief of Army Staff, General Deepak Kapoor. Otherwise, the official portal is full of half-baked and inaccurate information. Take a look. Under the heading Major Operations, the website stops at 1961. Anyone who visits the Army website might think that after 1961, there have been no operations undertaken by the force. There is no mention of the three major wars, 1962, 1965 and 1971, or the Kargil operations in 1999. Of course, it does list Indian Army's participation in the First and the Second World Wars, when it was really the British Indian Army. The website gives out information about India's participation in UN operations, but again, details are available only up to year 2000. Similarly, there is no information about hundreds of martyrs who lay down their lives in the line of duty every year. There are several other shortcomings. The photo gallery displays former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee and former Defence Minister George Fernandez's photographs, but the current Prime Minister and the Defence Minister are missing. Uh, when I uh, glance through these websites, there are certain gaps and there is a need to update these uh, websites regularly. In an era when modernization is the buzzword in South Block, not to get something as basic as the official website right does not reflect very well on the Indian Army of the 21st century. With Rajiv Ranjan, Nitin Gokhale for NDTV.